That and it's not just the Kindle that needs to worry about the iPad with a docking station that comes with a keyboard. Will it kill the laptop? Joining us now is Noah Kravitz, editor-in-chief of PhoneDog.com. Noah, you believe it will kill the laptop? I don't know if I'm sure it'll kill the laptop, but I think it's something that laptop makers are definitely standing up and taking notice of. Why? Well, you know, back in 2001, uh, none other than Bill Gates predicted that within five years, we'd all be using tablet computers instead of laptops or desktops. He might have been five years off or so, but up until now, HP, Dell, Lenovo, you know, the big laptop makers, they've tried to make tablet computers, but none have really taken off. What Apple's made a living out of doing is taking the computing experience and making it fun, making it consumer friendly. They did it with the iMac, they did it with the iPod, they did it with the iPhone, which turned the smartphone market on its ear. Now they're trying to do it with the tablet computer. Mm. So you're still going to need a notebook computer or a laptop to do things like edit video, wrangle you know, large chunks of information, financial spreadsheets, that sort of thing. But there are a lot of people out there consumers or people when they're at home instead of at the workplace, they just want to surf the web, they want to communicate, maybe consume some music or video or photos. And that's what Apple's trying to do with iPad. They're trying to take that and they're using touch and they're using a sexy light form factor to make it fun. Yeah, and I'm sure that everybody on the East Coast is licking their lips with glee at the idea because they can afford one. But the truth is, you can get a laptop for much less money with all the kit, can you not? You can, except the one thing that Apple's banking that you can't get is the experience. You know, there's a cliche in covering Apple products that you have to touch it to understand it. And, you know, the iPhone, a couple of years ago, I was a naysayer till I tried one. Same thing with iPad. All the early reviews are saying, you know, you start using it, and that layer of technology that kind of gets in the way, it evaporates, and you're just focused, you're immersed in what you're doing. And that's what Apple's banking on. So I find myself involved here in the hype of a product by one single company but that's exactly how it should be in your view this is a breakthrough that is that is beyond just a simple news story this is a lifestyle event for everyone again that that's what that's the story apple's spinning the early reviews you know hold up to that although notoriously early apple reviews are favorable We'll see come Saturday, as you said. We'll see how long the queues are at the store in Manhattan. We'll see what happens when the device hits the East Coast and the West Coast where I am and people get their hands on it. But I, I do think there, there's something happening here where Apple is trying to create a new category and even a little bit of a paradigm shift in the way that we interact with our technology. You know, there, there were tons of touchscreen smartphones before iPhone came along, and yet they dominated the marketplace with one device. So it's hard to bet against them. Mm. Do you want to mention the Kindle, or is it just off the radar now? <laughs> no, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people who's convinced that the Kindle or the iPad is going to be the holy grail that saves print media. Um, I see a lot of people using Kindles, and they love them. You know, they love the battery life. The iPad, uh, Apple's claiming 10 hours of battery life. I've heard even more. Kindle will go two weeks on a charge. Uh, They're lighter e as well, aren't they? They're much, much lighter, the Kindle. The Kindle's lighter. The Kindle uses e-ink technology, which was made for reading. So it remains to be seen, again, over kind of the long haul. It's easy to do the short review, but after a few weeks, a month of people reading books on them, we'll see. And when do you I do know that... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I do know there are some publishers who are very excited about their uh, electronic versions of newspapers and magazines that are being developed for iPads. So that's sure. another category that'll be in. And um, when do you think, finally, you'll get your hands on an iPad? When, uh, have you got one already? No, I'm Saturday morning, oh. just like everybody else. I, uh, my UPS shipment apparently got stuck somewhere between China and Louisville, Kentucky, oh. like everyone else I has, so. I hope you're as made up as, uh, by the end of the process as, as you want to be. Noah, thank you very much for your time. Have a great weekend Thanks. with your iPad. Thanks, Simon. You too. Well, I won't have one. But...